Good morning dear student. This is your science class. From today we are going to begin unit 4 matter and material. So in this unit chapter number 7 air. So please open page number 79 of your textbook. Chapter number 7 air. Air is a mixture of colorless gases found in the atmosphere. So what is air? Air is a mixture of colorless gases that are found in our atmosphere. One can stay without food and water but cannot stay without air for a minute. Air forms a transparent medium and hence we are able to see through it. We need air for many purposes such as breathing, flying kites, air transport, photosynthesis, filling balloons for burning. Okay, so dear student, air is very very important things that we need. One can live without food, but no one stay without air for a minute. So if you are not eating food for some times, for few hours, you will be stay easily. But can, you cannot stay without air for a minute. Air also forms a transparent medium and hence we are able to see through that medium. We need air for breathing, flying kites, air transport, photosynthesis, filling balloons, burning, etc. Okay, dear student. Now let us discuss the atmosphere. The blanket of air that surrounds the earth is called the atmosphere. So what is this atmosphere? The blanket of air that surrounds the earth is called the atmosphere. Atmosphere is a mixture of gases in several layers. These layers are dense near the earth's surface. The envelope of air becomes thinner as one moves above the earth's surface. Hence, Mountainal carries oxygen cylinder with them at higher altitudes. So dear student, what is atmosphere? The blanket of air that surrounds the earth is called atmosphere. So dear student, atmosphere is mixture of gases of several layers. These layers are dense near the earth's surface and if you move above the earth's surface, then it becomes thinner and thinner. And that's why the mountaineers have to carry oxygen cylinder with them. Why? Because at higher altitude, there is less amount of oxygen. So, there may be problem in breathing in less oxygen level. So, that mountaineer carries oxygen cylinder with them. Layers of the atmosphere. Now this is the layers of the atmosphere. Now look at here student. This is the earth. The first layer is the troposphere. The second one is the stratosphere. The third one is the mesosphere. The fourth one is the thermosphere and the last one is the exosphere. So dear student, here five layers of atmosphere, troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. So let us discuss one by one this. First layer, troposphere, it is layer of the atmosphere closest to the earth surface. So troposphere is the layer. It is 
closest to the earth surface all type of gases are present here and weather changes takes place in troposphere so dear student this is the closest one layer of atmosphere which is closest to the earth surface and all types of gases are present in this layer and weather changes takes place in the troposphere okay now let us discuss stratosphere this layer is present above the troposphere many jet aircrafts fly in this layer ozone layer is also present here now the second one is the stratosphere this layer is present above the troposphere many jet aircrafts fly in this layer and ozone layer is also present here do you know the ozone layer it prevents the harmful ultraviolet radiation of sun from reaching the earth surface by absorbing them as a result we are safe from skin cancer okay dear student so look here here the closest layer is the troposphere after the troposphere stratosphere is there in stratosphere aircrafts flies and ozone layer is also present in the stratosphere now let us discuss c mesosphere this is the third layer meteoroids burn out in this layer and therefore do not reach the surface of earth so dear student this is the third layer of the atmosphere it is called as the mesosphere okay mesosphere here meteoroids burn out in this layer meteoroids and object from space such as small rock or a piece of metal that heats the earth surface if it heats the earth surface then it will give some harm to the earth that's why in mesosphere these meteoroids burn out and therefore they do not reach the surface of earth okay now the d thermosphere space shuttles move about in this layers okay so space shuttles are move about in this layer now e exosphere it is the outermost layer containing very little air okay exosphere is the outermost layer and it containing very little air okay dear student layer of atmosphere the first layer is the troposphere here all gases are present and the second layer is the stratosphere in this air aircrafts can fly and ozone layer is also present here that layer prevent harmful ultraviolet rays to reach do not reach the earth surface mesosphere this is the mesosphere in this layer meteoroids are burn out therefore they do not reach the earth surface this is the thermosphere this is the fourth layer and in this layer space shuttles are move and exosphere this is the last layer here very little amount of air is present composition of air so composition of air so now look at here 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 78% of air is nitrogen 21% is oxygen and only 1% is the other gases such as carbon dioxide water vapor inner gases 
etc. Okay. Now let us discuss the activity. Activity to show that air is needed for burning. Do this with the help of an elder. Okay. From this activity we are going to study that air is needed for the burning. Okay. Fix two candles on a table like this and light them. Cover one candle with a glass jar. You will observe that the candle in the jar stops burning after some time. Whereas the candle kept outside continue to burn. So now look at here in this diagram. You have to take two candles and you have to put that candles on table. Now light these two candles. After lighting, cover one candle with the help of a glass jar. And you will be observed that this candle will stop burning after some time. Why this happen? Because in this jar, the amount of air will reduce. Why? Because we cover this candle by glass jar. So, this candle stops burning after some time. So, this proves that the air is needed for burning the candle in the jar extinguished because it does not get air. Okay. Now let us discuss activity to prove that air contains carbon dioxide. Now from this activity we can find that air contains carbon dioxide. Take a test tube and fill it with lime water. Flow in air through a straw. Now look at here. You have to take one test tube like this and you have to fill this with a lime water. Okay. And now you have to blow air through a straw. What will you observe? You observe that lime water turns milky. What this shows? This shows that carbon dioxide is present in blown air which turns lime water milky. Okay. From this activity we conclude that carbon dioxide is present in air. Okay. Now let us discuss the next activity. Activity to show the presence of water vapor in atmospheric air. Okay. In this activity we are going to show that water vapor is present in atmospheric air. Take a dry and clean steel tumbler. Fill it with crushed ice. Okay. Look at here. It is a tumbler. Steel tumbler. And you have to fill this tumbler with a crushed ice. Okay. After some time you will observe what you observe. Water vapor from the air condense on the cooler part of the tumbler. Result. The water droplets are formed because the water vapors present in air condense on the cooler surface of steel tumbler, this shows that atmospheric air contains water vapors. Now look at here in this diagram. Okay. This. This steel tumbler is filled with a crushed ice. After some time, the outer surface of this tumbler. Okay. Here some water droplets will appear. This shows that atmosphere contains water vapor do you understand okay now air contains dust particle now here one activity which shows that air contains dust particle also early morning open up the window which is toward the eastern side when sunlight falls into your room in the morning you can see the particle of dust in the air. Okay. Look at here. In this way. Okay. Then in early morning you will open the eastern side window. 
you will observe that the dust particles okay these dust particles are very little 